Hello viewers and welcome back to Prospect Bay. Today we are just south of San Ginés, our last area of focus, in the uh, city town of Sochi. So as you probably know, I've uh, built out pretty much all of the uh, rail lines through uninhabited city tiles for the for the uh, network I'm working on between episodes 70 and 71. So we already have this infrastructure in place and the old highway from back when we connected all that stuff up. And over here I've got some notes with me about the locations of uh, various streets where the grid in uh, Santines extends to the city town border, so I think I'm going to try to uh, connect some of that stuff up so it doesn't look too awkward on the region view transportation map. Anyway, the first street in the direction of the water is uh, has 11 tiles between it and the highway, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, make sure we have that right really quick. Yeah, we have that right. Um, and then there are a couple regular sized blocks it looks like. Yeah. So, they should all hook up. That's it for the streets in this direction. And now in the direction of the railroad in the mountains. Uh, yeah, it looks like there are two streets between the highway and the railroad here, so let's get those in place while we're at it. Let's make sure that this neighbor connection is functional. There we go. Oh, uh, I, I bet it was. I just couldn't see the arrow for whatever reason. Yeah. The other street is whoop, not there, I don't think, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Then there are actually a few streets after the railroad, but for now, I think I'm only going to expand two of the three. And then this outer one will end up just being a farm road. I mean, heck, this is awfully wide for the kind of small city I want to develop along this highway anyway right now. So I think our first order of business is going to be to compress these blocks into a smaller area. I think the town is going to continue for a while, parallel to the highway and rail like this. Just because that seems like something that would make sense. And yeah, might as well expand it even further than that. And then we're going to have the network streets curve over uh, in order to meet back to the highway. And I guess that'll be our only highway connection for now. Let's see on the rail mode uh, how large our blocks are going to be. I ah, might as well do the classic 4x10. Oh well, I'm not sure it's really 4x10. I think I actually dragged that on the 10th uh, tile, so... Oh no, that is 4x10, so let's make sure that... I drag it on the 11th tile here too. Alright, so... That should be enough. As for where this, where the street should cross the rail, I think it wouldn't be too bad to have a crossing here. Continue that street. 
and keep this rectangular for now and figure out where we're going to extend it later, I think. So, might as well build our first station right away. Uh, seems like the Ornea station would be a decent bet. Uh, so let's get that in place. Maybe extend that one more tile. Will this fit? Right, it works in that direction. Okay, well, I just did about the stupidest thing you can do in SimCity 4 and tried to plop a puzzle piece on top of a TE lot, which of course means an automatic crash, which is uh, what happened. So I just set things up again now and I'm doing it a little bit differently. And it seems to be working fine. Great. So, uh, now, as far as improvements that we can make, uh, just a minute. Oh, just a house guest asking to borrow a flash drive. I was able to get that. Uh, so, as far as what to do here, um, I think we're turning this all into road because we are intending to oof, better extend those streets first. We are intending to um, zone along all these blocks, or at least that was what I was thinking. So let's get our shoulderless road the whole way through. That's how you can tell the difference between uh, RHW2 and Road, by the way, if you hadn't noticed already. Is, uh, or, well, the primary way to tell the difference is because these shoulders disappear. The other things you can see are that the painted lines are a bit more fadey on normal roads and that the asphalt is in quite as pristine condition, but. I mean, those can be pretty hard to spot. Uh, so, uh, generally I like to start out by building some kind of park. Although, it might look a bit silly because Suntiness already has a couple of those. So maybe instead of a traditional park, we'll just go for a, we'll just opt for a couple sports fields. Like that, and softball next to it. Yeah, that should be plenty to start us off. I don't see any reason to rush this whole thing. As for this road, it's a pretty principal corridor, so I don't think that a little bit of commercial would be too out of place along it. Uh, see how we want to zone this. How about a 4x4, four four, see what comes of that. Probably a drive through or four ace lanes, but... Okay, well... You know, I might as well get my civics out of the way as well while I'm doing this. I'll make them to match with the station. It's probably my favorite civic lots. Here. Uh, yeah. This one is going to be across the tracks, so you don't want the kids crossing the tracks from school to get to the fields. Some kind of tragedy could occur. Uh, yeah, matching police station. Right by the rail station. Um, for help though, we're just going with this clinic because well, it's tried and true. Um, and let's also start out by building a regular system of bus stops. Okay, um... Huh. 
perhaps one here, one here, one here, and one there to start. And we'll also build a special one for the train station. Get a couple road stops. Ooh, actually, I'm not entirely sure about the suitability of using road stops here. We're gonna have buildings facing it. I think we'll just wait to expand that bus network until we expand the streets a little bit more. Cross streets, I mean. Yeah. So let's just fill in the gaps with residential the way we were planning. It's fairly monotonous design, but uh, normally I don't build this top down. I mean, this is only because it's the very start of building the core of the place. We can do more creative things later on. Uh, in outlying neighborhoods. This is just to give ourselves a shape to build off of more than anything. One without too many major traffic hang-ups. Alright, this looks like an opportunity to build a couple filler parks. This should help development a little bit. I think I'm going to expand these roads after all, right now. Like so. This can be just an open, undeveloped spot maybe. Little nature park right by the main road. Principal Avenue. Pretty narrow road for all the traffic that's going to be funneled onto it. Expand our commercial offerings, perhaps. Street corners are always the best place for that. Yeah. And on this uh, secondary road, I think we're not going to zone things in too tight to start. Just a uh, zone here and there. Yep, that should be plenty. Um, yeah, so this should be enough residential to house a fair number of people. I don't know how they're going to feel about living right next to the rail track like that, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the space though, apart from develop houses right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Screw the consequences. Alright, so... We did that, and now we can re-expand our streets, street bus stops. Well, not re-expand, but you know what I'm getting at. Only a couple to build, actually. It's not too bad. Uh, anyway, I'm going to save off camera so I can zoom out. Real quick. All right, so I just had a pretty brilliant idea, which is next to the... Uh, train station should be, or next to the rail track should be industrial. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's how it generally works historically, or at least that's where the industrial is. Uh, so, I guess the next step now is to start agricultural development on some of this plentiful flat land.
So I think we're going to continue the square pattern from Sunfinis because yeah, I don't know, it seemed to work pretty well there if, you, if I say so myself. Just a fairly simple but uh, timeless design. I don't know what's going on here. It'll probably turn residential before too long. But in the meanwhile, I think that's the only road connection I'll be making. Let's make it a dirt road because yeah, you know how those things are. Oh, looks like hit an override. So let's give that one more try. Uh, still didn't work quite right. That's okay though. Uh, so let's dezone that. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Maybe connect that street as a dirt road for now. Doesn't seem like too bad a idea. Yeah, but make sure that, that stays concrete if we can. Yeah. Yeah, let's override that. Let's do this like so. And oh, it was still too close. Okay, I promise I'm only trying this one more time. I know it can get pretty effective. Yeah, good enough. That street will be concrete. Let's at least build a couple buildings on it to justify its existence then. Or its pavement, I mean. And... then... More farms. We're going to some a pretty vast area for agriculture right off the bat in the city. Because the land is available and the demand is there. So, really? Why not? There's every reason to do it and not so much not. Okay, it's going smoothly. Want the farm field coming right up against the rail in the school like that? Yes. This is the industrial era. We don't care too much for preserving trees around here. In public open spaces? Ah, what a joke. All those poor people might as well just make a lot of money and buy themselves mansions with expansive private gardens like everyone else does. Yep. Well, our farming operation is going smoothly so far. I think we're going to 
take advantage of all of this flat area. Start against the edge of the map though. A little bit easier that way. There we go. Yeah, that's flat enough. Looks like my fears of there being some kind of dramatic uptick and slope right over here were mostly unfounded. Maybe just one farm here. Yeah, I can't hold myself back. I'll just have the two. Um, yeah, I think we'll be zoning here too. 